All right, with this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Tuesday, April the 2nd, this is the morning edition. I'm Josh Brown. Well, we are waking up to uh, temperatures outside a little bit chilly, so it's not as cold like we've seen yesterday or even Sunday mornings when we had uh, temperatures in the 20s, so none of that. So that's the good news. We actually have temperatures right now, uh, just a bit, like I said, just a bit chilly. We're talking about upper 30s and low 40s right now across the entire viewing area. And let's take a look at the uh, map with the, the map with the temperatures right now. And so as, as always here, just give me just a second to get the Baron Threat Net, uh, load up. So just hang tight. And again, remember, and again, remember, for those of you, for those, yeah, for those of you that are, that are just uh, popping on this, popping on into the uh, Facebook live stream. Again, I really greatly appreciate if you could go ahead and share this uh, feed to your followers because sharing is caring. So just uh, keep that in mind. So anyway, so here's here's a live, here's a live look at the radar. First of all, as you can see that uh, we are seeing just a few isolated showers right now, basically over towards the Cumberland Plateau, but nothing too major. <clears throat> so just uh, keep that in mind, and uh, but for the most part, we should be able to stay dry. But uh, we'll, let's take a look at the temperatures right now anyways here across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky on this uh, Tuesday morning, the first Tuesday for this month of April. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so uh, temperatures right now here across the midstate, like I said, are a bit are chilly. So right now here in uh, Music City, we have a temperature right now around 42 and up towards uh, Gallatin around 39. Uh, Clarksville, you're seeing a temperature right now at around 37 and around Hopkinsville about 35 degrees. And also up towards uh, Bowling Green, you're seeing, a, you're seeing a temperature at around 36 degrees as well. And then around Lebanon, you're seeing temperature there around 40. And uh, also down towards uh, Franklin, you're seeing a the temperature there around 42 degrees. And over towards uh, uh, Henry County in Paris, you're actually about seeing a temperature around 34. And over towards uh, Murray County, Columbia, also about 42 degrees as well. And 39, and 30, 30, ugh, plug it too fast here. 39, 39 degrees is, is the current temperature right now in uh, Lawrenceburg, and about 41 right now in Murfreesboro, and about, uh, about 40 in Cookville, 37 in Crossville, and also uh, 37 as well over in Jamestown. And by the way, whenever, you, if you, if, if you see temperatures that are, in, that are in, that are in the 30s right now across the midstate on this uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, just please be sure that, uh, just to keep that in mind, that there'll be some patchy frost out there. So not a not a major frost, just a, just a, just a little patchy frost uh, for those of you that are seeing 30s uh, this morning. So just to keep that in mind. But of course, you still need to bundle uh, bundle up with that uh, coat or that sweat sweatshirt because temperatures, like I said, are again not as cold, but we'll just say just chilly on this. Uh, uh, for sure, uh, first uh, Tuesday of April. So let's take a look at future cast here and show you what we're expecting with, for temperatures for highs this afternoon. So as always, just give me just a second here to get future cast to load up. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So it uh, looks like we'll see some. It looks like temperatures will start to warm up a little bit into the 40s as we head into uh, eight o'clock. Uh, this morning, so, uh, so it looks like this is what it shows right now. What feature cast shows, but uh, I, I think some spots can stay in the upper 30s, uh, basically just to the north of Interstate 40 and of course Southern Kentucky and possibly along the plateau. But it's possible you may, you may see temperatures warm up a little bit into the low 40s, but uh, it's not out of the question. So just keep that in mind. But then as we head into uh, later this afternoon, this is when temperatures will, temperatures will start to warm up again. Uh, we're talking about mostly upper 50s and low 60s this afternoon. So there should be a little bit of better, we should be in a little bit of a better shape like, like it was yesterday and even what we saw last Sunday. So like for Nashville, we may see a high temperature this, af this afternoon at around, around 61, probably around near 60 around Gallatin, close to around 60 in Lebanon. Same thing for Murphy's, for Murfreesboro, 59 for the high temperature this afternoon, which is close to around 60 for folks over in Franklin. Uh, same thing for Columbia and about 58 degrees for the high temperature this afternoon in Lawrenceburg and close to around 60 as well up towards uh, Clarksville and Hopkinsville and 58 will be the high temperature this afternoon in Bowling Green. But look at those temperature, temperatures along the Cumberland Plateau. It's going to be a little bit cooler uh, for this afternoon. We're talking about temperatures only in the uh, mid-50s. We're talking like 55 for the high temp this afternoon in Jamestown and Crossville. 
So that's not too bad. Temperature should be should be somewhat feel like spring, uh, like uh, that we're going to see later on today. So just uh, keep that in mind. So let's look at uh, the uh, temperatures for uh, tonight. And by the way, we'll see some sunshine though this afternoon. So if we wonder if we're going to see some sun uh, today, uh, yes. So so don't worry. So no worries about the rain uh, again today. <clears throat> So here's the uh, low temperatures we're expecting uh, for tonight, and even overnight, we're expecting lows to drop down into the 40s. So same thing, not as chilly, but if you live along, if you live along the Cumberland Plateau, it's possible you may see some upper 30s again for lows uh, tonight into early tomorrow morning. So the same thing, as you wake up first thing in the morning, uh, please be sure to have the uh, coats, have those coats or uh, sweatshirts bundled up, handy because temperatures once again will be on the um, uh, chillier side. So as we head into uh, the day on Wednesday, which is tomorrow afternoon, we're expecting temperatures to feel even much warmer. We're talking about upper 60s and low 70s, so that's going to feel uh, pretty good. We're talking about a uh, high temperature close to around, or not close to, around 70 uh, for Nashville. And the same thing for Murfreesboro at around 68 for the high temp tomorrow in Gallatin in Lebanon. A little bit cooler here for the plateau, but still should be warmer than average, uh, where we should be about about, 60, about 66 for the high temperature tomorrow in Cookville, 65 in Jamestown, 64 in Crossville, at about around 68 for the high temperature tomorrow in uh, Franklin, at about 67 for Columbia, and the same thing for same thing for folks down in uh, Lawrenceburg, and close to around 70, which is around, but still around 69 will be the high temp tomorrow over towards uh, the Paris area in Henry County. And even the same thing for Clarksville at about 68, also for the high temp in Hopkinsville. And also 66 uh, for the high tomorrow in Bowling Green. So, yeah, temperatures should be much warmer, like much, much warmer as we head into your Wednesday. So, this, so this we head into uh, the low temperatures here for Thursday night. Or not Thursday night, uh, tomorrow night and early Thursday morning. Sorry about that. So here, here are some wonderful temperatures we're expecting uh, for early Thursday morning. We're expected to be in the upper 40s into the low to maybe even mid-50s. So it could be really a cool and maybe a little bit of a mild morning, Thursday morning, across parts of our viewing area. So uh, so, it, so I guess you may not need the coat, maybe Thursday morning, but I think you just may need the jacket. But uh, at least the weather should be staying dry uh, also as we head into at least... Yeah, so somewhat dry on Thursday, but then maybe a few showers uh, back to the west of I-65... Uh, that day, and if we take a look at the uh, high temperatures for uh, Thursday afternoon. We're expecting well, well, this well the future cast is going to show the clock stop here at around one o'clock uh, during the afternoon on Thursday. We're expecting temperatures to be warming up into the upper 60s, maybe to near 70, and it shows temperatures a little bit cooler around one o'clock for now Thursday afternoon for one of our northwestern counties here, like Paris. You may see a temperature around 58 around uh, 1 p.m. Thursday, and 61 for Clarksville, and 60 for Hopkinsville. And much warmer here for areas along and east of I-65. So, but the temperature should be, like I said, temperature should be a whole lot warmer, like much, much warmer than average as we head into the rest of this uh, week. So just uh, keep that uh, in mind. And again, here's a live look at the Baron Threat Net radar for those of you just popping on into the Facebook live stream. You'd be wondering where, where if, if it's raining right now. Uh, again, not a whole lot of rain. We've seen some showers this morning for areas south and east of Nashville. But they're about to be dying down here, so just a few, just a few sprinkles here over towards the plateau. So it's the only ones that's left over on this uh, 7 a.m. hour on this uh, Tuesday morning. But everybody else here across Middle Tennessee is looking dry. Oh, I forgot to put this in the stereo screen mode. I apologize for that. <laughs> I didn't even recognize it. Sometimes that happens. So I hope you heard me. Uh, what the temperature is going to be look like for. Uh, uh, for uh, for the next few days, so so I hope you understand about that. But sorry about that. I put I forgot to put this in the share screen mode. But I'm I put, I put it just put the share screen mode now for the GFS model. So I guess that's the good a good thing. <laughs> so let's uh, look at the forecast here for uh, Friday, as we end the uh, first week of uh, this month. And uh, this is our next chance of rain. We're going to be uh, watching carefully. So this is our next system. Uh, so that's going to bring our next chance for some scattered showers. So you may need to you may need to have these umbrellas handy before you uh, leave your house uh, first thing early Friday morning before you head to work at school because because the conditions will be a little bit on the wetter side. But it may not be it may not rain all day on Friday. It will just we'll just call for scattered on and off showers. So just uh, keep that in mind. But temperature still for highs looks to be uh, still warmer. We're talking about mostly 70s to continue for. Uh, the end of the first week of this month here. And look at these temperatures here across the south, across parts of Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and across much of Florida. We're expecting high temperatures for these folks to remain in the 80s. 
as we end this uh, first uh, week of this month of April. So that's going to feel pretty nice and warm. Uh, All right, uh, here's uh, Saturday as we kick off the first weekend for April. It looks like uh, the GFS shows that there could be a few spottier showers, but again, it will not be, a, will not be an all-day rain event. So just uh, keep that in mind that we'll, we'll not see like a, we'll not, we're not going to see an all-day rain uh, as we head into uh, Saturday. So just some spottier showers. So again, it'll be on and off. So if we have big plans for that day on Saturday, just to keep that in mind that uh, there may be a few showers around. It seems like the good chance of rain will stay down towards the south and back over towards the west here. There could be some strong thunderstorms as well across parts of the Arcotex region and some down towards parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama, and even down, all the way down towards Florida. So there could be some storms uh, as we head into this uh, first Saturday of April. But for us here in the, in the mid-state, just a few showers we're going to deal with here for now. But temperatures uh, for highs looks to be much warmer still. We're talking uh, mostly mid to upper 70s to continue for uh, uh, for that day. And look at these temperatures here across parts of uh, Texas, all the way across the south here. We're talking about upper 80s and maybe even low 90s as we head into uh, next, or not next Saturday, this Saturday. Yeah, that's going to feel pretty hot. And also could be, could be good for beachgoers uh, down around the Gulf States region and, of course, for the Atlantic areas. Also for this Saturday, and look at this here across parts of Virginia. They're talking about temperatures uh, in, to do, to uh, to get up into the low to maybe maybe even mid 80s for the first time uh, for uh, 2019. So that's going to feel pretty nice and warm. So let's hope the weather stays that way maybe as we head into the rest of this month. All right, and this is uh, Sunday. And again, this is the forecast I'm going to be keeping a close eye on very closely because this is, this is our next, uh, this is going to be system number two. I'm going to be tracking carefully that could bring the next chance for showers and maybe even some spring like thunderstorms to deal with. So, so you may want to stay tuned to this uh, forecast carefully as we get closer. But again, we're still too early to go into details and this, and this could change as we get closer. But again, we just need to watch this uh, forecast as we hand it to the day on Sunday. That could bring our next chance for some showers and maybe some strong storms. But uh, temperatures looks to be still warmer. We're still talking about mostly uh, 70s and maybe to near 80 degrees, possibly for the first time, if, if, if it's correct here, for Middle Tennessee for 2019. So, again, this is, th this is something we're going to have to watch really carefully. So, again, you may want to be on high alert for the potential for stronger storms on Sunday if you have plans. So just uh, keep that in mind. But in terms of severe weather, uh, uh, as of right now, the instability shows that some of these storms could turn strong to severe. So yes, there's the possibility we could see some severe some severe weather as we head into the day on Sunday. But you can see all those red shaded colors right here down towards, especially back over towards uh, West Tennessee and back down towards Mississippi, Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. That means there could be a potential of a widespread severe weather outbreak as we head into that day. But for us, for Middle Tennessee, since these storms will be tur may turn severe, it does not appear to be it does not appear when expected like a big uh, tornado outbreak. But again. That's something we're going to have to watch carefully. So just uh, uh, just please check back with my, uh, just please check back with me here twenty four seven as always here for more additional changes to uh, 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 Sunday's forecast. And yet again, more rain will continue as we head into uh, next Monday. This is the eighth. So you can see the system will, will be moving towards the East Coast region. That's going to give us a, uh, give us a few leftover uh, showers and maybe a couple of, couple of storms if this is correct. But uh, temperatures looks to be uh, still milder, but it'll be a little bit cooler, though. This is out of our next stuff. Uh, front we'll be tracking carefully. Uh, that could cool down our temperatures just a little bit, but still staying where we should be. Mostly we're talking about low to mid-70s as we head into uh, Monday of next week. And look at these temperatures, though. Still across parts of Texas, all the way towards Florida, and across parts of the Carolinas, up towards Virginia. We're talking about still temperatures staying pretty mild and warm in the 80s. So that's going to feel, like I said, almost like an early summer-like weather pattern for these folks as we head into, uh, at least for these, at least for parts of the South as we head into the end of this week, this weekend, and maybe even even into portions of next week. All right, and as we head into uh, Tuesday of next week, this is a week from today, April the 9th. It looks like uh, there may be a few leftover showers here across portions of our viewing area, but I think the weather should be drying out then. So, so, those look, so it looks like this uh, big system here will, uh, will push off towards the south and east, giving the chance for showers and thunderstorms for Georgia, Alabama, the Carolinas, and parts of Florida. But again, Middle Tennessee's weather looks to stay pretty dry. Again, there could be a few leftover isolated showers, but that's it. 
But uh, the Central Plains region, look, look at this here. We're talking about mostly dry conditions uh, for much of this uh, Plains area. And it looks like a new system could try to develop as well across part, portions, portions of the Pacifica and Northwestern United States region. But uh, uh, but again, for the most part, it's not a big, not a big system to worry about uh, for these folks up there. But look at these temperatures, though. Yeah, this is, this is our high temperatures for next Tuesday. It shows temperatures cooling down into possibly into the 40s and 50s again. Wow. So it could, could be really a big drop. It could be really a big drop of temperatures as we hand into next Tuesday. So, uh, but again, it's just a week off. And, you know, that could really change as we get closer. That's what the temperature so, shows on the GFS for highs on Tuesday of next week. Yes, temperatures, yes, really cooling down into the 50s uh, again. All right, then as we head into uh, a week from tomorrow, this is next Wednesday, April the 10th, it looks like uh, still the weather looks to stay pretty dry. Uh, there could be a few isolated showers left over still across portions of our viewing area, but I think we should be looking pretty dry, even the same thing across much of the Plains uh, regions. And uh, temperatures for highs, once again, will be, like I said, it should be warming up just a little bit is what it shows here on the GFS model, but it's still going to stay cooler than average. We're talking about uh, temperatures uh, only... Uh, Warming up just a little bit into the upper 50s, into the low 60s, but uh, again, this is just a week away, and again, you may never know, temperatures could go up just a little bit, but we'll see what we'll, we'll see what's, as we get closer, but look at these temperatures across the southeast, though, for parts of uh, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. They're talking about temperatures cooling down into the 60s and maybe even low 70s uh, as we head into uh, next week, especially next Wednesday. It looks like a big warm up. Could, it looks like a big warm up uh, could return as we head into the middle of next week as well, across portions of the uh, plains and across parts of uh, the uh, Rockies region, with temperatures in the 70s and maybe even low to mid 80s. All right, uh, here's Thursday of next week, April the 11th. It looks like uh, still the weather for Middle Tennessee uh, will, will stay mostly dry with the loss of sunshine, but we're tracking our next system that could affect Middle Tennessee as we head into the second half of next week, though. But as of right now, the best chance for some unsettled weather will stay up to the north of where we are. But if we look at the uh, high temperatures once again, it looks like we'll start to warm up again as we head into next Thursday, where we should be. We're talking about uh, highs warming back into the upper 60s and maybe low 70s. But look at this here. Oklahoma and Texas, they're talking about temperatures really feeling much and much warmer as we head into uh, next Thursday. We're talking about temperatures in the upper 80s and perhaps even low 90s. So that's, that's going to that's gonna be feel pretty that's going to be pretty early to feel uh, like summer for summer for these folks across parts of the Plains region as we head into that day. But again, you may never know that could change as we get closer because we're just about a week off. All right, and as we head into uh, Friday, April the 12th, it looks like uh, our next system could bring our chance for some showers to make a comeback here from Middle Tennessee. But for, for now, it looks like the big system will stay up to the north of where we are. It looks like, looks like here across parts of Michigan, there could be some heavier rains uh, possible as we head into next Friday. But here's the uh, high temperatures we're expecting. So it looks like our next front can move. And as we head into the end of next week here, it's just temperatures uh, cooling down into the 60s. Uh, as we head into that day, and temperatures will still will be staying much warmer here across much of the south as well. We're talking about temperatures in the uh, 70s to near 80. So temperatures will be able to warm back up across, at least for Florida, and across much of the southeast and across the east coast region, at least for the mid-Atlantic area. Uh, uh, so what, what I meant to say, as we head into next Friday. <clears throat> All right, here's uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday, April the 13th. Still, some showers may still continue for the mid-state ahead of this uh, strong front that can move in. But, again, the best chance of rain will stay up to the north and east of where we are uh, as we head into that day. But uh, temperatures looks to be uh, cooling down a bit again. So, again, this is our next uh, cold front we'll be tracking carefully as we head into uh, the day on Saturday the 13th. This one is show temperatures uh, cooling down into the um, 50s, maybe into the low 60s. So, yeah, so it looks like temperatures could be a little bit cooler than average as we head into the part, like as we get into portions of next week and maybe into next weekend. We'll see. We will see what happens then. But again, it's just only a week off, and that may change as we get closer. So just uh, keep that in mind. All right, here's uh, Sunday the 14th. It looks like the weather should be drying out for Middle Tennessee. But look, look again. Yeah, this is our. This is a new system that could try to develop once again across parts of a. Uh, 
the uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Kansas uh, states uh, as we hand it to that day. And temperature-wise for highs looks to be, well, for us, since the weather should be dry, at least for now, for the day on Sunday, April the 14th, we'll be in the 60s. But uh, with the, but with this uh, next system, that could bring the chance for some rain across parts of the Arkansas region. That could bring temperatures cool, I mean, much cooler in the uh, 50s, and even much warmer here down towards Texas as well. So look, here's a look at the uh, precipitation type values. So I guess on the warmer side of the system here across parts of South Texas, there could be a few strong storms. But in terms of severe weather, uh, yeah, the conditions could be a little more, could be a little bit more favorable for the much, for much of the, the southern part of the state uh, to produce a chance for maybe a few strong to severe storms. But uh, again, this is now getting into the, this is now into the land of voodoo. So again, this, this is now getting close to be two weeks off, and that could always change as we get uh, closer. All right, uh, here's uh, Monday, April the 15th. It looks like the next chance for some rain could try to make a comeback for Middle Tennessee ahead of this uh, next uh, strong storm system. But it seems like across parts of Texas could see some chance for some heavy rain, including like places like Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah, there could be some heavy rain potential as we head into the day on Monday the 15th. And uh, temperatures for highs looks to be, well, since we may see more rain on the 15th, you just want to show temperatures cooling down into the 50s to near 60 degrees. So, so we, don't, so we don't see a whole lot of severe weather to worry about uh, for that day across Middle Tennessee. But look at these temperatures, though, across parts of the uh, southern plains and across much of the deep south. We're talking about highs in the 70s and maybe even 80s as we as we head into the uh, following week. And here's the precipitation type ice once again. So, again, just plain old rain we're, we're going to be dealing with here for the day on Monday the 15th. But in terms of severe weather, once again, it shows, like I said, we don't expect any severe weather with this uh, system here for Middle Tennessee ahead of our next uh uh, rainmaker, but it shows there could be some strong storms possible across parts of the Arkansas region, but uh, and even some could turn severe. But again, as always, we call this the pure land of voodoo because this is just only two weeks off, and that could always change as we get closer. So just please keep that in mind. And, and yet again, more rain will continue for the day on Tuesday, April the 16th. This is the, the following week uh, from today as this uh, system continues to push off, push off towards the east. And uh, temperatures once again down below that looks to be, well, looks like we'll start to warm up a bit as we head into the 16th of April. We're talking about uh, highs warming back into the uh, 70s where we should be for this time of year. And in terms of severe weather with this uh, same system, as of right now, the severe threat appears to be on the uh, marginal side. But I still cannot rule out maybe a few strong to severe storms as we head into the day on Tuesday, April the 16th. But again, remember, it's two weeks out. And again, that could always change. As we get closer, but look at this here across parts of uh, the Arkansas region. You can see those oranges and red colors right there. That means there could, be, there could be a possibility of a widespread severe weather outbreak uh, for these folks if this forecast doesn't change much. And yet again, more rain continues for the day on Wednesday the 17th. Once again, as this uh, same system continues to move off towards the East Coast region. But look at the Plains region across much of uh, the, the, the uh, Dakotas. Uh, Nebraska, Kansas, across much of the Rockies region, the weather should be looking pretty uh, clear uh, as we head into the day on Wednesday the 17th. But again, it's for pretty much just for the south and the east of the United States here. We're expecting uh, the rain to continue. But uh, temperatures for highs, this could be hundred, this, could, this could be potentially ahead of our next uh, cold front. We'll be tracking carefully as we head into the day on the 17th of April. It's just temperatures cooling down into the uh, 60s to near 70. But in terms of severe weather, once again, Right now, it shows, it shows that the severe threat appears to be on the marginal side, so we don't expect like, like a whole lot of severe weather for the 17th, but when we saw from the last model run for the 16th of April, that's when we could see that maybe another potential for some severe weather. But uh, again, remember, it's, it's two weeks away, and it's, it could change. It could change, folks, as we get closer. All right, as we uh, end this forecast here, this is for the uh, morning of Thursday, April the 18th. It shows the rain will still continue. As the system continues to, move slide, continues to slide down to the south and east of where we are, but again, once again, across the Plains region, looks to be relatively dry. But it looks like a new system may try to develop across parts of the uh, Pacific and Northwest region, giving the chance for rain, maybe a little bit of late season snow, if this is correct. And morning glow temperatures down below that looks to be much cooler. We're talking about temperatures dropping down into the 50s for morning glow temps as we head into the morning of uh, Thursday, April the 18th. But uh, again. This is two weeks off, and again, this is what we call the pure land of voodoo, and things could change as we get closer, so just uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, well, that's it for this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Tuesday morning. 
Uh, we'll be back here later on tonight, 8 o'clock, for the next uh, forecast video update. So I hope you join me live on Facebook then. And I'll continue, as always, by posting more notes or updates on my blog and Facebook pages uh, 24-7. But uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Have a, a great day and enjoy this beautiful weather. We're going to be seeing today, so temperatures will be, warm, we will, will be warming back up just a bit. Uh, but we'll be warming up a, a whole lot as we head into the rest of the work week. So in the meantime, y'all take care, and I'll see you guys here uh, later on tonight. But in the meantime, uh, have a great day, and uh, God bless.